Welcome everyone. We're so excited that you've joined us this evening for our McDowell Strong Awards Ceremony. I'm Kim Effler, Executive Director of the McDowell Chamber of Commerce. While we are saddened that we can't be together in person this evening for our traditional annual banquet, we did our very best to provide you with a unique virtual experience. Tonight will be a lot of fun, but before we begin, we'd like to share in a moment of silence with you to remember those that lost their lives to COVID-19. As we reflect upon 2020, we wanted to dedicate our time together this evening to honor those in our community that exhibited strength, resiliency, fortitude, compassion, and tenacity. We are so proud of our community. In a really difficult year, we were quick to partner and provide support to those who needed it. Our businesses, families, and community have forever changed because of COVID-19. And now, let's get to the fun part. We are McDowell Strong. Twenty twenty was a year like no other. The COVID nineteen pandemic has dramatically impacted our business community. Early in the pandemic, the McDowell Chamber of Commerce recognized that we had a vital role to play in helping our community navigate through this crisis. Our focus has been on providing as many resources as possible to support our business community. We've stepped up to help our businesses, nonprofits, and the entire community navigate through COVID-19. In March, when COVID-19 impacted McDowell County, our organization quickly jumped into action to serve our business community. While working remotely, we never lost our tempo. In fact, we worked harder than ever to provide reliable information, valuable resources, and connect to all businesses in our community, not just our members. We created a Back to Business Toolkit that was recognized by the North Carolina Department of Commerce as a valuable tool statewide. We created a Facebook group called McDowell Virtual Connect Stronger Together to provide community connection and awareness. We donated our billboards to COVID-19 messaging and we have partnered with the community organizations and businesses to create virtual listening sessions. These virtual events educated attendees about relevant topics such as PPP and IDEL loans and stimulus relief funding. As a member-based organization, our goal is always to serve our members. Our members are the reason we've existed since 1957. When our business community is impacted by unprecedented times, we take it personally. We spent the majority of 2020 working to strengthen our member value and creating a culture of gratitude. We created a member advisory committee led by our board ex officio that provides feedback and awareness to chamber board and staff. We strengthened our onboarding process to ensure our new members know and understand how to optimize chamber benefits. We created an innovative approach to future event planning. Our event goals are mission focused and value driven. We created a Member Monday initiative that informs our community monthly by getting to the heart of business. Our chamber staff is actively involved in many community organizations and volunteer opportunities in McDowell County. In 2020, we worked hard to strengthen our community partners, thereby creating capacity and increasing our knowledge for our members. Together, we serve on 11 boards in McDowell County. The chamber was instrumental in creating Connect McDowell, a 501c3 driven to expand broadband and infrastructure and create digital literacy programs. We work to focus on the current growth in Old Fort by creating the Old Fort Business Development Committee. 
The COVID-19 pandemic created an awareness of how we operate as a nonprofit organization. We began looking at our operational structure to ensure that we could survive and thrive during an economic downturn. Despite the unknowns created by the pandemic, we focused on future resiliency and our mission to position our business community for success. We created Vision for 2025, a five-year strategic plan. Our board of directors implemented and facilitated a smooth executive director leadership transition. We revised our staffing model to increase efficiency and more dramatically serve our members. In July, our chamber merged with the Old Fort Chamber of Commerce. This has allowed us to break down borders and serve the Old Fort community as well. Our community fuels our passion to make a difference. We are proud of our efforts, but this work would not be possible without the support of our staff, board of directors, volunteers, and sponsors. We are grateful for your continued support. So I've been in community leadership for quite a while in McDowell County, so I know a lot of folks, uh, bring a lot of diverse ideals to the table. Um, I work really, really well with other people, um, different agencies. So I think just um, getting a lot of folks involved, community is what it's all about. You know, this is a business uh, model, but um, the community needs to be involved in business. So I think I bring that aspect of um, community leadership to the chamber. Certainly. First, let me say um, Donna is a legend. So when I took this job, at McDowell Tech, the first person I heard about was uh, Donna Ledbetter. You've got to get to know her. Uh, so, you know, she is, she's the person who brings people together. Uh, my role at McDowell Tech has really led me into, into this role. And, um, you know, I work with business and industry every day um, as the director, or as the dean of continuing education and workforce development as part of my job. And, um, we work with industry and in making sure that they have the, the needs or the training needs uh, met. And same with small business, working with the gym program, uh, with the Marion Business Association. Uh, it's been so supportive with creating entrepreneurs. And so I just really have had the opportunity to work very closely with a lot of uh, different organizations. So my dare and destination is diversity. See all of those D's, Donna, Darren, <laughs> diversity. <laughs> Uh, hopefully we can get more uh, businesses, minority owned businesses in McDowell County because this is a diverse uh, community and a diverse county. Um, the businesses does not always reflect that. So hopefully uh, we can get some of the businesses and there are some minority businesses. They're just not um, as well known. And hopefully we can get some of those folks at the table and get them some recognition so people know that McDowell County is a, a melting pot of different businesses and organizations. One of the daring destinations I have is where we're sitting now. Uh, I really want to see the McDowell Event Center uh, become what it should be. And um, I would love to see this place full all the time. This is such an asset to McDowell County. Uh, and then also, you know, just really just working with, with the various businesses in every way possible. Um, I want to see our, our membership grow and grow and grow. Uh, everyone out there in business should, should want to be part of the chamber. So all, every person in this world is put on this earth to serve others, whether you know it or not. So um, just being of service and connecting with the community, I think it's all about re relationship building. Um, the better your relationships are with the businesses, the better your relationships are with the community. That in turn makes people trust you and see that you are enthusiastic and being genuine about what you want. We don't just want your money. You want, we want you to be a part of the Chamber family. You know, how could a business not want to be a part of that as we move forward? Um, you know, we want to ensure that business needs are met, um, you know, and just being that trustworthy uh, organization that, that business can rely on to, uh, to help them become what they want to become. So um, my top three priorities is, um, you know, going back to the values, always being genuine, always being here to be uh, an asset and to serve 
and um, being visible in the community, not just the business community, but the community in general, because like I said, it takes each of us to make everything work. For me, you know, it's, um, again, one of the main things I said was the McDowell Event Center. I really want to see it uh, prosper and, and be what it was originally designed for. Um, but in addition to that, you know, it's just um, having a good, strong board here at uh, the Chamber, and we really do right now. Um, you know, it takes me back to last year, of course, was COVID, uh, but the year before when we had our board meeting, um, our board retreat, and just to think about how everyone really just took part and was just, I mean, the energy that was there, and it wasn't because anybody had, you know, it wasn't that, that selfish energy, it was designed to help our community and designed to help uh, the businesses, and that's what our board needs to be. So just continuing with a really strong board and strong uh, staff that we have, because we do, uh, and then just being there to support our new uh, director because um, she's done such a great job and I just look forward to, to the continued leadership from her. Hi, I'm a Hey Portia. Thanks for joining me this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So wanted to touch base and get some updates from you guys about the annual awards banquet next week. Um, Portia, can you give me a quick update on what you have planned for running technical backup? Yeah, I am going to get on and make sure everyone is muted. Um, uh, hold on just a second. I'll ever get out the bathroom. Emma, how about you? We'll skip to you. Um, yeah. You have a plan for e-blast. Um, I have a flyer that I had Tina approve, so I'm going to put that in the e-blast and link it. Um, and um, someone just knocked at my door. Hold on just a second. Let me go see who that is. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Um. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. What are you? Oh. Oh, sorry. That was someone trying to sell something. You guys, my phone is ringing. Hang on just a minute. Hey, Oliver. Hi, buddy. We're going to have to, I'm going to have to take this call. So we'll okay. try this another day. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Sorry. I'm pleased to present the McDowell Chamber of Commerce 2020 McDowell Strong Awards. I'll read a description of each award and then the award recipients. The first award is the Phoenix Award, which is given to businesses that were not only able to survive the difficult situation of 2020, but also be able to thrive and grow uh, during the pandemic. The award recipients for the Phoenix Award are Flavors on Main General Store, Jay Hartman's Restaurant, Ingenious Coffee, Open Door to Health, McDowell Local, Marion Hot Wheels, Hillman Beer, and Old Fort Outdoors. I'm presenting the 2020 Phoenix Award to Flavors on Main General Store in downtown Marion for celebrating growth during the pandemic. Um, thanks a bunch. Wow, uh, what a year 2020 was. And it started off actually kind of slow, and then come February and March, got extremely slower. We ended up having to, on a short term, close our doors. We, we kind of did a, a drive up and kind of online basis. We had to completely change our business model, load everything as much as we could online. We had a t tremendous amount of help from Tina, the whole chamber team. They did so much work to go through, help dig through all the available resources, everything that was available to us. That kind of helped us going, you know, keep going, and then we kind of talked. Our business was down considerably in the first half of the year, and we decided if we stay in our current space, we won't make it. So we said, you know what? We had always dreamed of doing a general store. We said, God's telling us now's the time to do it. So we took a leap of faith, and it was the best move we ever made. I mean, we're excited. We've got a lot of new things in plan right now that I hope everyone's going to be excited about. 
but just thank you to all the chamber, the community, for everything everyone's done to help us. Uh, we appreciate it so much. We're extremely humbled and we're excited about the next phase of well. The next awards to present are the Frontline Awards. The Frontline Awards represent the selflessness of those in our community who continue to work and serve during the pandemic. The recipients of the 2020 Frontline Awards are the McDowell County Schools Nutrition Department, McDowell County Teachers, William Keller and the entire McDowell Emergency Management Team, Karen Powell and the Foothills Health District Team, Cross Memorial Baptist Church, and Dove's Grocery Store. I'm presenting the 2020 Frontline Award to the McDowell County Schools Nutrition Department and Teachers. Thank you, April. Um, I, I just want to say I am so excited to be getting this award. I thank everybody involved in getting this award. Um, I accept this award, like I said, or like she had said, based on um, the whole entire school nutrition and all of the staff. Um, we wouldn't be able to do what we've done with, without the tremendous support from our superintendent and for um, the support of our local board of education. Um, we did not have a lapse of service since March when this pandemic started and we were able to serve 815,000 meals give or take a few at this point and um, so just super happy um, we wouldn't be able to do it if we didn't have the principals and the teachers and the resource officers all pitching in to help um, so extremely humbled and um, super excited to be getting this award so thank you very much the next awards to present are the trailblazer and innovator awards these awards are for businesses that during the pandemic, when most were struggling to survive, developed solutions and identified needs and exemplified leadership during crisis, allowing them to not only survive, but to thrive and grow. The recipients of the Trailblazer and Innovator Awards are Foothills Industries, Kitsbo, the Corpening Memorial YMCA, and Robertson Packaging Supply. I'm presenting the 2020 Trailblazer Award to Kitspo in Old Fort, North Carolina for celebrating innovation through the pandemic. Hello, I'm David Bilstrom. Um, I'm the CEO at Kitspo and we are very pleased to accept this. On behalf of everyone who works at Kitspo, we appreciate this appreciation. We made 100,000 face masks in 2020 and another 100,000 face shields, and that was mostly done by McDowell County residents, and the work was done in McDowell County, and we served McDowell County, and we're proud to do so. Thank you. The next awards to present are the Good Samaritan Awards. These awards represent those in the community that during the fallout of the pandemic were able to assist others through donations, assistance, and mentoring. The recipients of the Good Samaritan Awards are Foothills Food Hub, Heather Edwards, Tegan Sacco, Caleb Parker, McDowell Local, the Marion Rotary Club, Rodney Jackson, Landis Hollifield, Freedom Life Ministries, Nikki Palmer, Jason Seidel, and the West Marion Community Forum. It's my pleasure to present the 2020 Good Samaritan Award to the Foothills Food Hub, who continue to feed our community throughout the COVID-19 crisis. Thank you so much for this award. This is amazing. We are just so humbled that um, we've been recognized by the chamber and by folks in the community. Um, we also want to certainly thank everybody that donated and was part of this awesome last year of, of kind of scary, but at the same time, everybody pulled together and really took care of each other. And that was amazing to be part of. Um, thanks to Denebo Crossing, who uh, without them, we couldn't have done it. They gave us the space and gave us the power and electricity to make it all happen and keep things ready for folks as we were distributing boxes throughout the week and certainly to Gateway Wellness Foundation who
matched all the funds that came in from McDowell County and again made it all possible and to certainly Katie Reynolds Charitable Foundation who laid the foundation for so much of this work both infrastructure and partnerships it's just been a, an amazing look at what McDowell County can do Thank you. Hi, I'm Robin Nicholson, Government Community Relations District Manager for Duke Energy here in McDowell County. In this role, I have the privilege each year of presenting the Duke Energy Citizenship and Service Award. Duke Energy employees have a long history of volunteerism and community service. It was through this history and this tradition that the Duke Energy Citizenship and Service Award was established. This award is presented to an individual or organization each year who strive to improve the qualities of life of those in their community. It's presented to individuals or an organization who put service above self and who recognize the needs of the community and work to make those better. We also hope that it serves as a catalyst for others to see the needs and to join in the efforts to improve the lives of all in the community. Integrity, stewardship, accountability, responsibility, these are just some of the traits that the past recipients have exemplified who have received this award. They're also the traits we look for for those for future consideration. 2020 was a year of, um, of some terms that I'd like to personally take out of vocabulary from now on. Words like unprecedented, uh, quarantine, pause, uh, challenging. These are words that uh, we've probably overused this past year, but they are very true. This year's recipients uh, for this award, for the Citizenship and Service Award, have heard those terms over and over and they have performed well above the standards that they normally set for themselves. The recipients this year truly do put service above self and not just in 2020 as a result of the pande pandemic, they put service above self every single day in their daily lives and their work. They are truly stewards of our community. They are truly accountable to all the citizens of this community. As we have many of us been you know, using that word quarantine and working from home, or some of us have had other kinds of challenges, these folks have continued to meet those challenges and have been there on the forefront each and every day. It is my honor and privilege to, prevent, to present this year's Duke Energy Citizenship and Service Award to the McDowell County EMS team. I'm not sure uh, what to say, but uh, it's an honor and privilege for us as the emergency services team to accept this award on behalf of our entire team and everyone who has worked so tirelessly during this pandemic to protect their friends, their neighbors, and their family. And this has been a huge joint effort of so many organizations to come together at the Emergency Operations Center. And the entire staff has worked tirelessly seven days a week since this pandemic began in partnership with uh, public health and all of our community partners to ensure that we protected this community during this pandemic and that we work together as one team with one mission and that was to protect the lives of all of the citizens and visitors here in McDowell County. And on behalf of our entire team, thank you to Duke Energy and to all of our community partners uh, for what you've done to support us during this pandemic. And we look forward to continuing to serve this community for many years to come. Thank you. So as I said, unprecedented, challenging, different. These are some words that uh, we've grown to live by this year. So in light of everything that has happened in 2020, we've decided to make this award this year a little bit unprecedented as well, because we recognize that 
Sometimes it takes a particular individual to lead a great team. And in this case, we have such a leader. I've worked with this individual day in, day out for many years now. Uh, we jokingly say that I do answer the 3 a.m. call and apparently the 2.30 Sunday afternoon call as well. I'm pleased to individually recognize the leader of this great organization as another recipient of the Duke Energy Citizenship and Service Award, EM, EM Director William Keller. Not sure what to say. I thought we were coming here to have another meeting on the pandemic. Um, but this award, I sincerely appreciate it, but it's the team members that I work around every single day that makes our organization and all the community partners working with us. It's an honor and privilege to get to serve in my home county. Uh, and it's an honor and privilege to get to work beside such talented people who every day get up and come to work and put others before themselves. And we've certainly seen that this year of all the team members who have fought this pandemic tirelessly day in and day out. So on behalf of our entire team, thank you so much. And uh, we greatly appreciate it. And we're back. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation as much as we have. Now you know a little bit more about the 2020 year from the Chamber's perspective, the future of our organization, and most importantly, those businesses and individuals that made 2020 an incredible year for McDowell County. As the Director of the Chamber, I'm honored to be part of the community and this organization. Our work would not be possible without the support of our dynamic board of directors, our chamber staff, our visitor center volunteers, our annual sponsors, and our members. We look forward to being together in person soon. Please keep in touch, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Be a blue camp. All right, I'm pleased to present the chamber. Uh, all right, just, just keep going. All right, I'm pleased to present the McDowell Chamber of Commerce. Uh, 20, would it be 2020? McDowell Strong Awards. Okay, all right. we'll get this right eventually. I'm pleased to present the McDowell Chamber of Commerce 2020 McDowell Strong Awards. While working remotely, I'm sorry, take two. <laughs> The Chamber was instrumental in creating Connect. That doesn't look good. Okay, that one messed up. <laughs>